Well, Harry, take a blank image. Draw a dot on it. You've created a universe. A universe of a single one-dimensional dot on a two-dimensional plane. Draw another dot and connect the two together. Now we have a line. A two-dimensional line on a two-dimensional plane. An object. Now let's change it into a little stick person. Legs, arms, a head. We'll call them Sam. A person that's still no mind. No decisions, no changes. So how do we make it change? We can rub out a piece of Sam and draw some more detail, but now it's just an entirely new thing. Sam doesn't know that anything has changed. If we add more stuff onto it, it still doesn't know. There's no trace of what came before. So instead, we add more images. We make a flipbook. On each page, we draw Sam in a different motion, in different moments, and then we flick through the pages. Suddenly, Sam is moving, it is changing, it still has a past, we've just flicked past it. It still has a future, we just haven't gotten to it yet. By giving our stick figure the ability to change, we have given the stick figure time. We are three-dimensional beings on a three-dimensional plane. At least that's what we're always taught, because the truth is a little bit more complicated. We are three-dimensional beings on a four-dimensional plane. Three dimensions of space, and one extra dimension that brings in extra moments, extra details. One extra dimension of time. Now because we are three dimensional, we can see the flip book we made. We can see that all these moments actually already exist, we just haven't looked at them yet. But to get around that, we can deconstruct the book, separate the pages, lay them all out in front of us, we can look at all these moments all at once. All of a sudden there is no past, or present or future, it is just all of Sam's time, existing at once. We can travel through it, flick past it, we can see whatever we want, but Sam can't. All Sam knows is past, present, future. I think it's evident now that we are Sam. In a different number of dimensions, of course, but we are Sam, stuck in a certain progression, unable to see the whole book. Do you think we could ever see the whole book? Do you think we could flip through the pages? Do you think we could ever take the book apart? Could we change the book? Could we rewrite the book? Could we go to different chapters and decide to end them differently? Or would that just be part of the sequel?